And in case you missed it, I had Kelly Sue DeConnick and Matt Fraction here in the studio to talk about all manner of nerd news, feminism and comics, what they think about the comic industry, what they're working on right now, and all sorts of really fun stuff. You can go into the description for that link or also up here somewhere because I'm fancy now and I can do that. So I had two extremely smart and opinionated people here in the studio. I decided to waste their time with a dumb but hopefully fun game that I like to call the Nerdly Wed Game. So I admittedly was kind of bad at this, but you know what? The host makes the rules, and I was the host. Very competitive, and he wins at everything. Oh, no. I know. <laughs> I'm very competitive, and he wins at everything. That's the worst part. <laughs> We're going to um, switch, All right. and you're going to get the same question. Not fair. Uh, no, right. she's not. No, Somebody that's garbage. Oh, my to, uh, God. OK. Sorry, Matt. That's not a foreshadowing at all. All right, so Matt, who's your partner's favorite character to write? Favorite character to write? Um. Uh, it's like a 50-50. I am not at all uh, confident in this answer, but. We're ready? <laughs> should we flip it around? No. Uh, we should have done this. I don't think I have trouble with like best and favorite. Yeah. But like Casanova is like, like always the one, if I had to pick one, it would be that one, because it was the first one. It was the one that made everything else happen. So you're going to give it to her? The one, yeah, I would totally accept, yeah, I would accept it. Great, right, I'm sorry. All right, all right, number two, I'm going to get it. I'm okay. going to get back. All right, this one's a little broader. Okay. You can, if your partner, Kelly, could write for any franchise, what would it be? Oh, he knows this one. Big. You know what this is. The, it, the, we can't get the license to it. Yeah. You know what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but well. You're going to write it down? No, you should. Get, uh, okay, then I'm I... Let me put it like this. I took a swing at it. <laughs> Nobody asked for. That was a comic. Okay. That isn't a comic anymore. Okay, it counts. It was a comic. That I would very much like to write. Sure. It has... It currently existed or has ever existed as a comic that Kelly would like to have a to. Are you drawing a blank? Yeah, now I am. Um, oh, you and you're gonna hit yourself because yeah. you totally gonna, know this. Yeah. You know this. I'm you, choking because it's on camera. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, it's way too defensive. Let's see. Uh, uh, it, it, I'm gonna give you a hint. Okay. There are also prose novels, and I have a collection of them. Uh, they have. Uh, oh. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. B-L-A-I-S-E. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was. Yes, yes, okay. modest. Blaze. So, that used to be a comic? So, it, it, was a, uh, it was a newspaper strip, mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and then P Peter O'Donnell uh, was the, the guy that did it. It was a newspaper strip. Um, the newspaper strips were collected a few times. He also did prose novels. Um, and started then, as a prose character, right? No, it started, started as, as a newspaper news strip. Um, and then it, and, uh, uh, in Pulp Fiction, it's the book that um, John Travolta reads on the John Travolta can, right? is reading on the toilet. Um, uh, yeah, and it's uh, he, he. It's about this um, female. Uh, head of a crime syndicate, but she's retired and now she's kind of a good guy. And she has her right hand man, Willie Garvin, who's like a knife thrower. It's ridiculous, and I love everything about it. Um, and but uh, O'Donnell's uh, estate will not license it. So, wah, wah. Ah. the Rockford Files. Rockford Files, totally. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It was a TV show. Okay, okay. Uh, it was a TV show. I'm sure it must have been a comic at some point. I don't know. Um, I don't think so. But it was uh, I don't think that's true because how would I not have it? That's true. That is very true. It was a it was a comic book. I mean it was a comic book, sorry. It was a TV show uh, when we were growing up um, that was also a favorite show of the two of us and uh, the 
Rockford's answering machine message was on the CD that Matt made that was our, our wedding gift. CDs are a kind of medium that used to hold about <laughs> 12 to 17 songs. I'm almost 30. So. Uh, almost 30. <laughs> yes. God so, bless you, you sweet I, summer I child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, well. So he was, a, he was an ex-con turned private investigator, and he would take cold cases that the police had given up on, and it's the best. It's so good. Mm -hmm. David Chase got his uh, start writing in television, writing for the Rocket Files. Okay. And uh, when they're trying to put Livia Soprano in a home, and the pilot of Sopranos, they're watching Rockford Files in the background. Yeah. And uh, right James Garner is uh, kind of uh, like Steve Rogers. He's just a good man. This one is kind of in the same vein. What is Kelly's favorite book? It doesn't have to be a comic book. Prose book. Nope. There's a high brow answer and a low brow answer. Okay. Let's see where I, she this goes. This one I know. A movable feast. So close. Sun also rises. Sun also rises. Yeah. I'm. Oh, and I set you up. Yeah. I set you up yeah. by saying you were going to win. No, you're I'm, in sorry. My head. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry, babe. She went with a lowbrow answer, but yes, totally true. Are you excited for the Dune remake? Yeah. <laughs> Our friends are making it, so okay. I know a lot about it. I'm very excited uh, okay. for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also, yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you had like inside trade secrets. Yeah, yeah, totally. No, it's gonna be, it's great. <laughs> um, and I guess um, this one is, it's a bonus question okay. for you. So you guys have... It's going to be favorite child. You guys have only collaborated one time. Right. Right on the internet. Okay, great. If you could collab again. <laughs> oh, on? Well, I think it's the same answer. It would be the Rockford Files. Well, any, like, li literally anything, I yeah. think. I mean, it's really the question is, would you want to collaborate again? Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nailed it! Great, yeah. But like, yeah, totally. It was, uh, it was great. Yeah. Yeah, no, and it was funny because I think we were, I was genuinely nervous. Um, I mean, I was genuinely nervous that, not, I mean, I, I wasn't like concerned that the marriage wasn't going to survive, but I was concerned that, that we were going to butt heads or that it might we might have an unpleasant day or something and we just never did it was yeah. super fun yeah i think we had, a, we had a terrible honeymoon and sort of over the the first few years of our marriage every time the story of the honeymoon came up one of us would include another terrible detail each of us gradually checking to make sure the other one was okay with us telling the truth about it which was it was a terrible honeymoon it was a terrible uh, so honeymoon. that's what I, I i thought worst case it'll be a terrible honeymoon and as time goes on we would gradually we add more details to why it didn't work and it would in, later be a funny story yeah. um but that was even that was like my worst case scenario would be that but i also think we know each other well enough that if you hadn't felt oh yeah we this is like if you hadn't I think we would have known if it was going to be a bad idea. We'd have known and been like, no, yeah. thank you. Right, but like, yeah. we had enough. We have very different skill sets. Um, he is a goddamn genius. And I, I on TV. am a little bit of con artist. And I think the two things like just sort of work really well together. Um, uh, it was fun and like we were able to be like, you're real good at that, you do that part. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. yeah. There's a story about Beck and Cool Keith collaborating mm -hmm. and it was like, like, let's write a, a song called Shirts and Pants. I'll write about the shirts, you write about the pants. Like, yep, that was what we did. Like, yeah. I don't care about pants. Great, I'll do pants. I hate shirts. Well, good, I'll do shirts. And we had shirts and pants. Yeah, and it was. And then you know, I'm we're big fans of one another. So that helps. That was That's super. That helps. was really nice too. Super it was like there was never any point where you're like, you know. Right. So. Right. Right. Yeah. Totally. Oh, or you did get stuck with the lazy kid that doesn't do any of the work, but I didn't. I nailed that. 
Oh, hey, we're back. Oh, no! Yeah, yeah. great. Great. Hey, we're done. We're done. Are we done? I'm out. This is bullshit. We're actually done, though. Let's finish when we need to close or what? Let's talk about anything else. Nope. Thanks again so much to Matt and Kelly for stopping by and chatting with me about all sorts of fun stuff. If you want to see their extended interview, uh, you can click the link below or the card above my head right now. Because, again, I'm fancy, and I can do that. Matt is not on social media. To my knowledge, I gave it a Google. But Kelly Sue is, and you should follow her. And while you're at it, you can follow me and tell me what you're reading right now and what you're loving. And I love to chat about nerd stuff. So just, you know, let's do that. Thanks so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you're new here, please subscribe. I do this sort of nerd thing every week, and I would really appreciate it. But that's all I have for you. And until next week, I will see you same-ish time, same place. And until then, this has been KGW's Comic Pick of the Week. So right. angry. So angry. I feel I'm I feel fuming about this trade. I feel bad. Very angry yeah. because he lost They're the newlywed game. So. Yeah, the 17 years, the 17 years married game of blue. And